Crickets here. Here's our new science choice board targeting my third through fifth grade students. We have karaoke with the moon, earth moon quizzes, art moon face cups, our Venn diagram comparing the earth and the moon, moon craters, and our scientific drawing of moon phases. Four, the choice is yours. Choose at least four out of the six squares to complete. You may do all the squares for extra credit, but remember, take a picture and a video of each activity or product and post it in your Class Dojo portfolio. If you're one of my social media scientists and you don't have a Class Dojo portfolio, put it on social media and tag us at Mr. Ricketts or Stevens Elementary. Remember, the world is your laboratory. My time to shine, moon karaoke. Man, you're gonna go to Storybots on the YouTube link and make your own video. Get your fake microphones, your brushes, get your caps, your gowns, your jackets, act it all out, get your props ready, have fun. Here are the lyrics and the different parts. Quizzes. Go to quizzes.com, put in the code 094865, your first and last names in grade levels. And remember, no fake names this time, stallions. And even if you're not a stallion, you're one of my social media scientists, you can still play. Get as many points as possible. Our art moon face cup provided and get two clear cups. They'll show you how to make a cup with the moon phases and put them together and have a movie. Here are the cups together and just turn. It's a lot of fun. Our moon earth Venn diagram. Circles, overlap them, whether it's string, belts, hula hoops, paper plates, you know what to do, you know how to get creative. Like on paper, but you don't have to do it on paper, you know how to do it 3D style. Characteristics, just the earth, just the moon, both the earth and the moon, and a list of characteristics. If you can think of some more, please feel free to do so and add your own. Team challenge, making moon craters box, put some flour in it, put some cinnamon or colored sand on top of it, and get a marble and drop it from different heights and test and ask the question, does the height from which the ball is dropped affect the width of the crater? Here's a chart for you. We have stallions preparing their box for the moon craters, their surface of the moon. Here, they've dropped the ball and they're measuring the width of the crater. Look, from the white end to the other white end, it displaced the colored sand. Close up of it, a very good close up. Here, we see stallions with a yardstick or a meter stick with three different heights the red height, the yellow height, and the blue height. Here, they're dropping the marble from the yellow height. Dropping the marble from the blue height. Remember, everything about the experiment stays exactly the same. The same marble, the same box, the same sand, except the height of the marble. We are looking at the impact from the blue height. Now you could change it up, design your own experiment, except maybe changing the mass or the size of the marbles or the balls released and releasing them from the exact same height. Remember, you're only changing one thing and you're doing multiple trials to verify your results. The skills, moon phases, scientific drawings for my artists out there. 
following link to see about and understand about the different phases of the moon and why we see different phases of the moon. Remember in your scientific drawings, remember your A, B, C, Ds. A, accurate, B, big, C, colorful, and D, have your details. Stallion who decided to make her drawing on the computer. To use Oreo cookies. So Oreo cookies, remember your ABCDs and have fun. The listing of your different choices, and I want you to really have fun and make sure you're documenting them. Whether you're a stallion and putting it on your Class Dojo portfolio, or whether you're one of our social media scientists and putting it on social media and tagging us. Remember, Ms. Ricketts wants you to have fun and learn because science is great. The world is your laboratory.